bad girl make you want to this night. Hello guys, welcome to my channel again. Wagwan, big up on ourselves. Today we're going to be doing a makeup and hair natural get ready with me. And guys, I'm going to show you the picture that inspired me. I'll place it somewhere. So I'm attempting to try to make a look, this look for like dark skin complexion. Guys, I don't, you know, get me, I'm not a professional. Don't, don't come at me. So, and I'm also going to be reviewing the NYX Can't Stop One Stop Foundation and my shade is Mocha. So, gonna start. Just starting with my edges first, guys. So for my edges, I'm using the Eco Styler Black Castor and Flaxseed Oil and I'm just applying it to my hairline and I'm not using a lot as my hair was already in a low bun. Now, if you want to see a full tutorial of this from scratch, I will go ahead and link a video on the top right hand side corner of the screen so you could go ahead and check that out. Next I'm adding a little bit of gel all over my hair and I'm going to redo my existing ponytail. Now in my experience the gel that I'm using tends to flake more than other eco styler gels but this is what I have here in Japan so I just have to use what I have. So usually when I do my hair and I'm going to redo it again, I would leave it in a plait or sometimes twist to keep it stretched because if I don't, it's going to be a real mess. So that's why there's a plait at the end of my ponytail. And I'm tying it down with a chiffon scarf. Guys, it's so important to do this step so that you can have like a sleek look. This step right here is key. Next, we're on to makeup and I'm gonna zip up real quick to protect my shirt. And let's see what this foundation has to offer. So these are the claims of this foundation. First, it's lightweight, pigmented AF, and I'm not kidding guys, this is what the website says. It's supposed to be waterproof, transfer proof, and it's supposed to be 24 hours. I apply about a pump of the foundation all over and I'm using a concealer brush to spread it. Okay, so it's definitely lightweight. It's not heavy at all on my skin. No, I don't know if I was asking for too much with that one pump, but I mean, the pigmentation is okay, above average, but let's see what happens when I blend it out. And I'll also try to build it up because I mean, I didn't use any concealer before, so no spot correcting. I really love how it is blending out. No, this could be attributed to my beauty sponge, which I love dearly. This foundation is supposed to be full coverage, however, I'm seeing some spots right there, you can see, but I mean, I didn't use a lot of foundation. So on the next side, I'm just going to use a brush to see how it applies. whoa so it actually blends really nicely as well with a brush this is my first time trying this product as this is one of the products that i got from my unboxing video which i'm gonna link up there so you could go ahead and check that out to see the prices and all the stuff that i got and i'm really excited to see the wear test for this to see how it holds up so make sure you stay tuned so it's supposed to wear for up to 24 hours hmm no guys i just can't see myself wearing a foundation for 24 hours and yeah and since you're already here don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and comment let me know if you have ever used this foundation if you are interested in using this foundation and don't forget to subscribe to my channel guys so yeah i forgot oh to apply primer silly me but i mean that just goes to show how well this foundation has to perform right 
So I'm just adding some foundation to the areas where I have some spots. Okay, so I can definitely see the coverage coming into play here. What do you think guys? So I definitely would say this foundation is full coverage. Highlighting now with my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in Hazelnut and I'm just applying this to my under eye area and I'm going to apply some to the bridge of my nose as well later on but I'm first going to spread it out with a concealer brush and you want to be very careful when doing this as to not get any under eye creases because they are just terrible, they are. Just adding some more of a concealer to the outer areas because guys, do you see that glow? That is what I'm attempting to achieve. So yeah. And I'm setting now with my Ben Nye Luxury Powder in the color Camel. Love this powder here and I'm just using a witch to apply this. Did the same for the other side as well. Contouring now with my Ben Nye Media Pro Podre in the shade Americano. Guys, this is like some serious pigmentation. Like it's so pigmented, I really have to take time and I usually use a larger brush to apply my cheeks. And when I'm going in for my nose, I use a smaller brush and I have to tap very gently. No onto the eyes and I'm using the Morphe 9C Jewel Crew eyeshadow palette. I love this palette right here and the first color that I'm using is Rich Girl. And I'm using this for my bon bottom eyelid area. Now on the picture you could see that she is using like an orangey reddish color. But because of my complexion I thought it's better to use something with this purplish effect to kind of make my eyes pop some more for my transition color and kind of like my lid color as well I'm using a rock out and it has a very subtle orange burnt orange undertone and I really like it to get this look based on this palette I think I could use stone fox to also achieve this but I'm working with the rock out based on the color that I have 
on my lower lids. So now I'm applying the Fool's Gold and I don't want to apply too much and I don't want it to be too popping. This is a very subtle look so I have to be careful with this powder because it is bomb guys. It really is. So yeah and we're almost finished with the eye look. So now back to the hair. So I'm just removing the scarf and guys I added a ponytail extension to the ends of my hair. So this is a natural hair, human hair, ponytail and I have a video of me doing this in detail, applying it in detail so you could go ahead and check it out. I'll link it above and it's the same video that I had linked earlier. Now I didn't want to wear a ponytail because it was very cold outside. I didn't want my hair ends to be to be left out but I would have preferred this without uh, the ponytail extension dusting away the excess powder I guess you could say I was baking I don't know then I'm gonna add some highlight and I'm just using that fan brush to apply to my nose and I'm gonna apply it to the hollows of my cheeks but yeah, for this look, I definitely should have added some more. Misting now with my Barry M setting spray in matte. But now we're gonna finish the eye look with our mascara and our eyeliner. For my bottom lashes, I'm using my Ico mascara and this is just perfect for bottom lashes. The wand is just amazing and I'm just applying two layers. Next we're on to lips and I'm using my NYX matte lipstick in the shade perfect red and this is my first time using it so first i was expecting this lipstick to be creamy i don't know why i was expecting that but me and my high expectations i guess but it just wasn't as creamy as i would have liked but the pigmentation was great and I mean it's a matte lipstick so I would suggest definitely to use a lip balm before applying but overall it's okay I guess so this is the finished look next I'm gonna show you a clip of the wear test but first how did I do alright guys so I'm back from off the road so let me see the time, No, it's 6 o'clock and I was doing my makeup, I did my makeup around 11 o'clock guys, so that's 7 hours of wear and this is what it looks like guys, the only problem I think I have is that I have a slight amount of creasing underneath my eyes, but usually it's much worse than this. So. I really like that it's not creasing so much and around my mouth 
as well and I didn't use any concealer before yeah guys and like I ate and stuff like that and it's still there so I really think it's a good foundation in terms of longevity and coverage I guess I should have used more for more coverage but just too much for a regular day out on the road I went to the farmers market and I went to Dice and I went to Syria guys I'm so tired as always thank you so much for watching guys don't forget to give this video a thumbs up don't forget to comment guys let me know your thoughts and if you aren't already please subscribe to my channel help me to grow yeah guys and don't forget to be unique be different be beautiful but most importantly be you see you in my next video guys take care